Many of my episodes have explored this question, the astonishing variety of internal experiences that people have. For example, take synesthesia. Some people will look at letters or numbers on a page and that will trigger an experience of color or they'll listen to music and that will trigger swirling visual forms or they'll taste something and that'll put a feeling on their fingertips. This isn't metaphorical stuff. This is a real experience that a fraction of the population has. Their senses are crosswired in a way that makes their inner world different from someone else's. If you're interested in synesthesia, I talk about that at length in episode four. Or you've heard me talk about other ways in which we might see things in our imagination. One example of this is the spectrum from hyperphantasia to aphantasia, which I talk about in episode 59. If you are hyperphantasic, you visualize things with great clarity, almost like a movie. If you are aphantasic, you don't form any mental images. Let's say I ask you to imagine a yellow dog running in a shallow creek in the woods. The hyperphantasic person visually imagines that with great detail, almost like they're watching it. The aphantasic person sees nothing. No dog, no color, no visual sense of shape or motion. Everyone in the population is spread somewhere along the spectrum and having different experiences on the inside. And there are dozens of things like this. I've previously talked about word aversion in episode 26. Word aversion is the immediate emotional disgust that some people feel when they hear particular words like moist or tissue or slacks or panties or nugget. For most people, these words are just vocabulary, but for other people, they trigger an immediate visceral response like disgust or anxiety. The point is, across the population, even something as simple as how you experience a word can be very different from one brain to another.